If you shoot Fujifilm, then today is a really good day because it is the release of the brand new TT Artisan 56mm 1.8 lens autofocus. Yes, autofocus. And I think it's great that they are now beginning to release autofocus lenses because up till now it's all been about the manual focus. They've gone down the vintage style road and now they're bringing out lenses that actually will focus for you. And therefore we can begin to compare them to the Fujifilm native lenses. And so this obviously is going up against a incredible lens. The Fujifilm 56 millimeter 1.2 is just, you know, it's phenomenal and their latest version of it, you know, is incredible. And so the sharpness and the beautiful bokeh, all that has to be able to compete. And so what I thought I'd do, I've got two videos today coming out. This one, which is just an un a quick unboxing of this lens. Um, I've had it for a little while, so um, I've been uh, testing it and taking some shots with it um, and taking it on some trips. And that video with my first impressions is coming um, today in a, a short while. But before that, I thought it would make sense to do a unboxing video to show you what this lens looks like and some of the surprising um, features that are not on it. So let's get into it straight away. Here we go. So, you know, usual kind of thing. And then here we go. Bump, you know, and just a box with a lens. Here it is. So this is the lens. And there were two things about it that I noticed straight away. Firstly, is this lens hood, which you have to take off to get the lens cap on. So you have to literally take this off to get the lens cap off, which is fine. Um, but I did notice when I was out kind of shooting and on travel situations, once you've finished and you want to put the lens cap back on again, it doesn't work. You have to do this and then this. Um, but it's a, that's, that's a, a tiny thing. Um, here, is the, here is the lens. You can see there. Now what's interesting about it is there's no aperture ring. So on all of the um, TT Artisan lenses, generally you get an aperture ring where you can change your aperture whilst you, know, you are shooting manually on the lens. Whereas with this one, there is no aperture ring at all. So it's all done from your camera. So that's, you know, that's an interesting omission that they've, they've left off. Um, but there it is, that's the lens. It's a, um, basically the equivalent of an 85 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. So you're looking at the portrait lens type of um, shots. So you're looking for nice soft bokeh, you're looking for, um, you know, those kind of good uh, separation between subject and background. And I think it does a good job. So in my next video, which will be out literally very shortly, um, you will be able to see some example photos uh, where I've shot some, I've taken it on a trip to Scotland and um, we'll show you some of those, those photos. And talk about my first impressions of the lens. But I thought it'd be good to give you a quick unboxing to show you this. And I think it's an exciting day for Fujifilm shooters because it's nice to have some competition for the, um, this space in the market from other companies. So we can actually, you know, get similar types of lenses, but for much less money. And um, yeah, this will be linked below if you want to um, uh, purchase this lens, then I'll put a link below to it. Um, but yeah, there it is. TT Artisan 56 millimeter, in brackets, 85 millimeter, 1.8 lens. Um, and it's, it's good, it's lightweight. Seems to be made well, metal construction looks like, plastic on the outside, um, but it all seems solid. Um, so yeah, look at my next video to see example video uh, photos of it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.